Um, Okay, so we were, um, uh, Karthik messaged me saying that the theme is freedom and I was trying to think of, okay, what is related to freedom? And when I looked up the word freedom in the dictionary, this is what came up, okay? The power or right to act, um, speak or think as one wants. Now, or the state of not being imprisoned or enslaved. Do we all think that we are actually free in a true sense? It's been 73 years, 74 this year, 74 years after independence, gaining independence or freedom from the British Empire. Do we really think we are free? I would ideally love to engage, but I know I'm short on time, so I'm gonna move on. Um, when I was thinking about it, I thought probably not, um, at least I'm not, because I was wondering, are we free from stereotypes and, and labels? Are we free from our limiting beliefs? Are we free from our toxic habits? And are we free from self-sabotage? Now, when I thought about all this, I thought um, I am not. So what I need is not just freedom because that's given to us by our constitution. What I need is greater freedom. And what I mean by greater freedom is the freedom to be free from all kinds of stereotypes, all kinds of labels, all kinds of glass ceilings, and freedom from my own inner critic, or freedom from our own inner, inner critics. So what is this self-sabotage or the inner critique? What does it do? Okay, now any behavior that, that kind of interferes or gets in the way of our daily lives or interferes with our long standing goals is, is this behavior of self-sabotage. Um, it, it's self-sabotaging or, or it's your inner critique that prevents you from living your life to the fullest and achieving your goals. Why do we do this? A lot of times we do this because of dysfunctional and distorted beliefs. I'm going to, before I go into how we can overcome it, I'm gonna give you an example, okay? And this is my example. I'm, I'm, I was born and bred in India, but I moved out of India when I was about 18, 19 to, to study. And I'm based here now in France. But I had a hard time getting used to everyday things. For example, the belief that was instilled in me that to be a good wife, I need to do all the cooking, cleaning, and do everything at home. And once I have taken care of all of this, then I can focus on my career. Now, doing all of this was quite difficult, to be honest. My husband is not an Indian, so he does not come from this mentality that my wife needs to do take care of um, you know, the household chores and the kids and everything. So he was actively, proactively helping me in the kitchen. And because of my dysfunctional beliefs, instead of being grateful for what he was doing, I started questioning that his intentions, I thought he sees me as a failure. He sees that I'm incompetent of taking care of the chores and that's why he needs to help out. So I wanted to give up my job and everything else just so that I can prove to be a good wife. Now this is nothing but a dysfunctional belief. And this is how I was self-sabotaging my career, my prospects, my goal, okay? So to be truly free, from your self-sabotaging uh, beliefs or your inner critique, what we need to do is go through the A, B, C, D, E pattern. Now, A is adversity, anything that causes you stress. Now, every time my husband stepped into the kitchen, my stress levels were going up. I was like, oh my God, does he think I'm not good enough? Does he have to step in every time? So that was my stress response. Belief. What, what I did after that was examine my belief. Why do I think that him helping out means that I'm a bad wife? or I'm not good enough. My belief was that a, a good Indian wife needs to be able to do all of this. That was my belief. What were the consequences of these beliefs that I was thinking I'm not good enough, I'm not adequate, I need to give up my career, I need to make changes to my routines, and I need to yell at my husband and kick him out of the kitchen. That was definitely affecting our relationship. Now, the, the step D is to dispute those beliefs, then to literally have a dispute, like you're disputing with a friend. Is this belief really true? Is the, where is this coming from? Is this functional and is this helping me? And then finding evidence to prove that 
your belief is not really helpful. So in my case, I was disputing the belief that does where is this definition of a good housewife or good wife coming from? Is this written anywhere? Is this coming? It's only coming from what I have seen. So that was a dispute. What is the evidence that I am a good wife? My husband loves me. He does whatever he wants, whatever he can to help me. Him being with me, him wanting to help me shows that he loves me and I'm not inadequate. So that was the evidence. Now, that was one of the ways to overcome my inner critique or self-sabotaging behaviors. What we really need is to quiet or to at least mellow down that inner critique because that relationship with ourself is really important. And that's where we get our true freedom from, which comes from within. Because the longest relationship you will have with anyone is actually with yourself. So make it a great one. Thank you.